Good morning. Can you please hand me your passport and I-20 form? Good morning. Here they are. I see you're planning to study computer science at Westminster College. Why did you choose this college? I chose Westminster College because of its strong computer science program and the personalized attention students receive due to small class sizes. The college's emphasis on hands-on learning and close interaction with faculty aligns perfectly with my educational goals. Additionally, being the first student from my country to attend Westminster College is a unique honor and opportunity to pave the way for future students. That's interesting. How did you find out about Westminster College? I discovered Westminster College through extensive research on universities that offer strong programs in computer science. I was particularly impressed by the college's commitment to student success and its innovative approach to teaching technology-related courses. I also connected with current students and alumni who shared positive experiences and highlighted the supportive academic environment. Can you explain how you plan to fund your education and living expenses in the United States? My education and living expenses will be fully funded by my family. My father works as a manager in a textile company and has committed to supporting my studies. We have planned and saved for this opportunity, ensuring that all necessary funds are available. Additionally, I have some personal savings that I will use to cover any additional costs. Your IELTS score is 6.0 and your SAT score is 1290 with a super score of 1300. How do you plan to handle the academic challenges of studying in a foreign country? I have prepared extensively for this opportunity. My English proficiency, as demonstrated by my IELTS score, is sufficient to handle academic coursework. Additionally, Westminster College offers various support services such as tutoring and academic advising, which I plan to utilize. My background in computer science and my dedication to my studies will help me adapt to and overcome any academic challenges. What are your plans after completing your degree in computer science? After completing my degree, I plan to return to my home country and apply the knowledge and skills I have gained to the growing technology sector. I aim to work in a leading technology company or perhaps start my own venture focused on innovative solutions in software development. My goal is to contribute to the advancement of technology in my country and create opportunities for future generations. How will your education at Westminster College help you achieve these goals? The education and hands-on experience I will gain at Westminster College will equip me with the latest knowledge and skills in computer science. The college's strong focus on practical learning, internships, and projects will provide me with real-world experience that is essential for success in the tech industry. Additionally, the connections I make with professors and peers will be invaluable for my professional network. Do you have any relatives or family members in the United States? No, I do not have any relatives or family members in the United States. My immediate and extended family resides in my home country, and I maintain strong ties with them. Considering you are the first student from your country to attend Westminster College, how do you plan to adapt to the cultural and social environment there? I am excited about the opportunity to experience a new culture and environment. I plan to actively participate in student organizations and cultural exchange programs at Westminster College to immerse myself in the community. I have also been in contact with international student advisors at the college who have provided me with valuable information and support. Additionally, I am open-minded and eager to learn about American culture, which will help me adapt smoothly. Your visa is approved. You will receive your passport with the visa stamp in a few days. Thank you so much. All right, I want to make sure I dress appropriately for my F1 visa interview. I've heard it's important to look professional. Help me plan my outfit, please, unicorn. Choose an outfit that reflects professionalism and respect for the occasion. 
a business casual or formal attire would be appropriate. For mauled applicants, a well-fitted pair of dress pants or khakis, a long-sleeved, collared dress shirt in a solid color or subtle pattern, a belt that complements the color of your shoes, a tie, optional but recommended for a more formal look. For female applicants, a knee-length or longer skirt or dress, or dress pants, a blouse or a conservative top. If wearing a skirt or dress, make sure it is of an appropriate length for a professional setting. I think I'll go for a pair of well-fitted dress pants and a collared shirt. That should strike the right balance between professional and comfortable. Good choice. Make sure the clothes are clean, neatly pressed, and in good condition. Avoid anything too flashy or casual. Right, I want to look polished and put together. Now, what about footwear? For mauled applicants, closed toe dress shoes in good condition. For female applicants, closed toe flats or low heels. Avoid overly high heels. Avoid overly casual or worn out shoes. Got it. Now, what about accessories? Keep it simple. Minimal jewelry is advisable. If you wear a watch, Make sure it's subtle and doesn't distract. I'll skip the bold accessories then. Now, what about grooming? Ensure you are well-groomed. A neat and tidy appearance adds to your overall professionalism. For Mola, neat and tidy hairstyle. Clean-shaven or well-groomed facial hair. Clean and trimmed nails. For female, neat and tidy hairstyle. Subtle makeup, if desired. Clean and trimmed nails. Choose neutral or conservative colors for your outfit. Okay, I'll make sure to tidy up before the interview. Anything else? Pay attention to personal hygiene. A light use of cologne or perfume is acceptable, but don't overdo it. You want to be remembered for your words, not your scent. Noted. I want to be remembered for my confidence and answers, not my perfume. Anything else? Just remember to wear a genuine smile and approach the interview with confidence. Your appearance is a part of the first impression, so make it count. Thanks for the guidance. I'll make sure to dress professionally and approach the interview with a positive attitude. Remember, the key is to present yourself as polished, professional, and respectful during the F1 visa interview. Adjustments can be made based on personal style preferences, but it's crucial to strike a balance between looking professional and feeling comfortable. Good luck! And as always, I wish you best of luck, and remember that thorough preparation is the key to success. And I know I'm preaching the choir here, but don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share for more content like this. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace!